Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Celebs Daily. In today's video, I decided to talk about Brooke Shields' career and how it was manipulated and organized by adults that were using a younger in such an appropriate ways just to make money. Let's start by saying who is Brooke Shields. Brooke Krista Shield is an American actress and model. She is the daughter of actress and model Terry Shield and businessman Frank Shield. Brooke has ancestral links with a number of noble families from Italy, in particular from Genoa and Rome. When Terry announced that she was pregnant, Frank's family decided to pay her to terminate the pregnancy. Instead, Terry took the money but violated the agreement and she gave birth to Brooke. Frank then married Terry, but when Brooke was only 5 months old, they decided to divorce. Brooke began her career as a model when she was only 11 months old, in 1966. Her first job was for Ivory Soap and she was photographed by Francesco Scavullo. She continued as a successful child model with model agent Alien Ford and she stated that she started her children's division only for Brooke. Then Brooke appeared in several Broadway musical theater productions, she played Rizzo in the 1994 revival of Grease and had many other roles. And to hear in this way everything seemed normal but it's really far from it. So in 1978 when she was only 12 years old, Brooke played the role of a child prostitute in the movie Pretty Baby. She played the role of a girl named Violet who lived in a bordel. And in this movie there were numerous nude scenes and really inappropriate for such a young girl. Ellen Ford, uh, her model agent, said that Brooke was really professional and unique and she looks like an adult and thinks like one. When I read this, I was really disgusted. She, she's a child, she's only 12, she should be at school playing with kids and not doing such a type of movie. When I was doing my research for this video, I decided to look for the movie. I saw just a little bit and then stopped because everything was so gross and disturbing. This young girl in bed with such an old man and just to think about the fact that adults were behind all of this and and they made this child go through all of this for money, it's insane. And honestly, I'm really disgusted, especially by the mother that agreed and signed up for all of this. And another thing that I found really gross is that critics love this movie and I don't know what they exactly love about a movie regarding child prostitution. It even won an award in 1978 at the Cannes Festival film. And honestly, I have no words about it. Everything is just so disgusting. Brooke also had another controversial role in the movie The Blue Lagoon in 1980, which included a lovely nude scene between teenage lovers on a tropical island. And Brooke later had to testify at a US congressional inquiry that all their body doubles were used for those scenes. And if you think this is the worst, it's really not. There is even more. When Brooke was only 10 years old, let me say that again, 10 years old, she was photographed by photographer Gary Gross posing nude in 1975. The shoot was for Playboy magazine. So to have a little background about this photographer, Gary was born in New York and began his career as a commercial photographer. Many of his work uh, appears in magazines such as GQ, Cosmopolitan and New York Magazine. And he photographed many celebrities including Gloria Steenham, Whitney Houston and Lou Red. Gary died from a cardiac arrest at his home in New York City in November 2010. So basically when it comes to the Playboy photo shoot, Brooke was wearing only heavy makeup and nothing else. And he was on the publication of Sugar and Spice. So basically they took this 10 year old with her bare body and it was made on this magazine meant for adults and I honestly can't imagine how many gross and perverts people bought this magazine and what they did with it. It, it is disgusting. And the mother agreed to this. I think about the mother seeing this and sign up for this and agreeing to this. Basically she agreed only for $450. She did all of this for a few bucks and basically traumatized her daughter for life. Brooke later sued the photographer because she didn't want him to continue to profit from these images. The lawsuit was later dismissed by the New York State Supreme Court. And basically, it was stated that the picture were not erotic and if it was, it was only for possibly pervert mind. And Brooke's mother was heavily criticized for it because at the time, media accused her to wanted to gain in both ways. Basically, after the shoot, Brooke later had her role on Pretty Baby and that's when she became a big star. They accused the mother to take the money from the photo shoot and later wanting to 
have this picture removed because this picture can potentially damaging her daughter's career. So she's doing all of this for money. These pictures from Brooke were at the center of controversy also in 2009 when artist Richard Prince, known for reproduction photography, used one of these gross images for an artwork entitled Spiritual America. It is disgusting, that's the only word I can think about, disgust. I can't even imagine how traumatized this must be for Brooke. She had to go through all of this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I see all mothers wanting a career for their daughter, but this is just too much. Honestly, I find it really hard to do this video. We are talking about a child. She was 10 years old when she did this nude photo shoot and she was 12 years old when she played the role of a child prostitute. I can't even imagine how traumatizing that is. When I saw this little clip from the movie, she was in bed with this old gross man. And honestly, I hope that every adult behind all of this gets punished and karma get their asses because this is just too much. And I feel even more bad thinking that this isn't new in Hollywood. A lot of children get used for gross things and they are promised to have a career if they do all of this. And honestly, this is absolutely disgusting. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I didn't talk about Brooke's entire career, you know, because there is a lot more to talk about. For example, her relationship with Michael Jackson and more. But I decided to focus especially on this photo shoot and this movie because it was trending recently and I didn't knew about it after I did my research. I found it really hard to do this video, honestly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!